Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Bob Lusk, and I am the West Region CRM Technical Director for Microsoft. Um, and my compadre here is, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. So I'm Gary Sullivan. I'm a technical specialist in the West for uh, Dynamic CRM as well. Work with Bob. Perfect. And the session today is Top 10 Solutions from the Dynamics Marketplace. So the next um, solution is from IOTAP, Intelligence on Tap. And um, imagine, and many managers here um, today want to have reports delivered to them at a specific time frame. So for instance, I'm a sales manager, maybe two weeks before the end of the quarter, I would like to have an email sent to me with my, t my forecast, a report that is very well formatted in an email. I could drill from the email itself down into it. Um, and I don't have to call up IT. I don't have to configure this um, myself. It actually just delivers it right to my inbox. And so that's IOTAP. All right, so we have to switch screens again. Right, here's, um, this is a pain point I've, I work with a lot of customers and something we've, we've seen a lot is being able to have the ability to easily, I, 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 don't know, I kind of, I like dashboards. I would like to encourage users to use dashboards, but particularly in the, in the management, uh, there's a lot of people that like the daily, weekly email, right? And so they want to easily be able to do this within Dynamics, and this is really what IOTAP helps out with. So what it does is it brings the ability to have these emails sent to people down to a configuration level. So what it's all based upon, which I really enjoy, is advanced, uh, it's just views, advanced find. So here we are in opportunities. I'm going to come in and create an advanced find. I think a lot of us have done this before. I won't walk through it. Probably a lot of you are familiar with the query by example features within advanced find. But what I'm going to do is make a point and do a, uh, a save as, just so we have a different name here. One second. All right. And then we will save a new view. And now I'm done, so I'll just go ahead and close this. What we're going to come in here and do now is uh, just go to the settings area. So I, I have a brand new um, uh, view that we just created. Come into settings, come into settings, and I'm actually going to go to the, res the, uh, the report scheduler. And what I'm going to do now is create a new record uh, to actually, so create a schedule report that can be emailed to me. So here we are, it's pretty simple. This is done through configuration. User can just come in here, assuming that you've given them privileges, and then select, all right, what's this gonna be based upon? Well, I'm gonna do one on opportunities. And then what's the view? Well, we just created a view, didn't we? Called the weekly pipeline report. We'll go ahead and select that. We'll then come down in here and uh, couple features that are really nice. I'd like to be able to do some groupings. So not only am I going to provide a list of, of opportunity records via email, but I'd like to have a little bit of a more added feature. So I'll say group by. And then for example, I can say group by, well, how about owner? Owner of the opportunity. How about a summary? I'm going to do a summary of estimated revenue of these opportunities as well. Continuing down, I'm going to go ahead and select when I want this scheduled. So what, we're Thursday. We'll go ahead and select Thursday. We'll select a time. Uh, let's go ahead and select uh, what, 5 o'clock, right? And uh, then we'll come down a bit further. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, nice feature is being cut off a little bit here. But essentially what I'm saying is um, do not send if there are no records. Kind of nice not to get blank. We get enough emails, so let's not get a blank email. So no records, don't send the email out. So that's how simple it was. Simply create a view. Uh, most particular power users, definitely, but most users are probably comfortable in creating some basic views or using some out-of-the-box views. Schedule it, decide the uh, entity of the record, and then let's go ahead and minimize this so we can go out to uh, my mail client. So conveniently, emails just come in. If we drill down on that, what do we see? we see that view we just created. So once again, this was done through very simple configuration. No SQL reporting services, no developers needed. Actually, the really cool thing I like, if we scroll down here, um, not only do we, of course, send all the list of all, all the opportunities, they are grouped by owner, and we are summarizing by the estimated revenue that we selected. And of course, we even provide a links. Now, 
the great thing about this is you can even send this to people who aren't CRM users, but of course if you do that, they click on the link, they'll be challenged for credentials or whatever the appropriate behavior would be. But uh, CRM users, of course, could then even drill in and go uh, provide whatever necessary work. So that's the IOTAP uh, report scheduling feature.